Welcome back to Jenna and Julian's podcast. Welcome. Thank we've, you for watching. We've done this like 10 times because we keep fucking it up. Yeah. So many thing ha- things happening. This We're- is our special <laughs> guest. Brett. Brett. Yeah. yeah. Go Brett. Yeah. Brett. Yeah. Brett. Yeah. Brett. Get legs. Get Brett. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Of course. Thanks for being here, Brett. This we is really you. special. He's our first guest on the podcast. Yep. Uh, Brett is our best friend. He hangs out with us like every weekend. I met Brett through work. He works at... Uh, I should say I work at the station that he works at, uh, Amp Radio. But yeah, Brett's here to hang out with us. I'm here. He's here. We're going to talk about oh, stuff. All the stuff. All the stuff. All of it. Mm-hmm. All of it. And we're going to drink cider while we do it. Yeah, I got to get on it. You're like get a little on. cider ahead of me. I'm cider ahead of you, homie. This, this podcast brought to you by <laughs> fucking no one. No rules. That's right. I should also say that not only am I the first guest on your podcast, this is the first podcast I've ever done. In my yeah, life, get so. legs. This is the first podcast I've done too. <laughs> Lots yeah. of firsts tonight. <laughs> yep. Um, I think a good little intro would be explain how I met Brett. Yeah. Um, which is uh, about, uh, I think a little over two years ago, I think, when I started at AMP. Yep. Um, he, he was working the weekends. And I was working the weekends, and we just kind of were in the office at the same time. So um, we got to know each other that way. Um, and, yeah, I mean, as, as we started getting to know each other, uh, we would spend more time just kind of hanging out at work, you know, because on the weekends, you know, like, there's there's not so much. It's not a lot to do. It's not a lot to there's do. There's a lot of downtime. A lot, what, a lot of what waiting. What do you guys do? Well, at the time, he was running the board, and Tell I was answering phones. For what? I was doing like contests. Amp radio. Yeah. Amp radio. Yeah. yeah. Amp radio. Amp radio. Amp, and, uh, amp, 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 amp. And Brett was, uh, he was running the board, which is basically pressing all the buttons, making the station run. Um, everything that a DJ does without talking. Uh, but then, we, yeah, we started hanging out and I knew Brett before I knew Jenna. So, a little fun fact there. OG. OG oh. friend right there. <laughs> and now we all love each other. Yeah. We do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> um, one, one big happy family. I one fucking happy. love Brett so much. Brett's the man. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. And and you guys are friends, and you guys have gotten considerably closer in, the, like, the last year. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially since the three of us started hanging out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jen is like tech glue. <laughs> tech glue. Tech glue. <laughs> tech glue to like, life. Brett, come over. And, uh, and I'm pretty sure I saved your phone number with emojis, like yes. dog emojis. Yes. Dog emojis next to Brett's name. Not even in Jenna's phone, under a name. <laughs> yeah. Too just cool for even, a name. Not a name, it's just dog emojis. Just That's emojis. the secret to getting Jenna. <laughs> That's Brett. That's the secret to getting Jenna to text you back. Just have her put you in her phone as not a name. Just emojis. Because then she just gets excited and is like, all right, I'll text this emoji back. Mm-hmm. Um, we had a couple suggestions to talk about. Oh, hashtag get Brett. Get Let's Brett. get that going. Um, yeah, I like that. We had a, a couple suggestions. We were t- um, dancing around with the ideas of best stories uh, about like your worst date, your worst hangover, mm. or also uh, significant experiences with the cops. Mm. Which I have a good story, but I mean, what do you guys think? Where do you, what do you what do you feel like we should hit? I don't know, Brett. Have you ever had a really bad date? I want to. I'm like dying to know. Have you ever had a really bad date? Yeah, Brett. Oh God. Like it's L.A. I, ha- I have not had day. any bad dates in LA. Oh, I have not. Where, no, Northern where, California. Where, yeah, where were the bad dates? I, you know, I haven't really had bad dates to Fuck. be honest with you. Fuck. Yeah. I Damn it! Why? Why really, did you not have bad? I wish I had a, a really <laughs> Damn great. It, Brett. I need to go have a bad date Just so, so you I can have to talk about Damn the pocket it, story. Buzz. Buzz. Buzz is on the table. Oh, he's cool. He that's what Kermit does. Oh, he's so. grabbing that licorice. He, um, yeah, he's I feel the same way a little bit. I mean, I've had like bad. Girlfriends and bad relationships. Right. I've never had bad dates. Like mm. a date is, you know what I mean? It's just kind of yeah. meh. What about you? I I feel like I've only really been on like a couple actual dates where right. you like get to know the person in yeah. that sort of like formal sense. It's always sort of been like you know the person, you hang out, and it's never really like dating. I think, but I think that's like sort of I don't know. It's like our generation. Like we don't really date until mm-hmm. you get to a certain age, and then you're like, I, I guess we should like. Right. Go out because when you start dinner. dating, you're yeah. like a poor, right. like twenty year old. It's like let's yeah. go, to, go to McDonald's. You wanna you wanna come over to my room? You wanna take apartment? the bus to McDonald's together? We can sit next to each other, watch some Netflix. But I, I definitely wait. You have Netflix, right? We can watch it. I don't have it. It's my friend's account, but yeah. if he's watching right now, we can't watch it. So come over later. 
<laughs> no, I had I had one bad day. I feel like I told you about this. Probably. I was like, I know my mom's on the Ustream right now, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was in college, and we had this one fake ID that we would pass around in between all of us, because that's how you would get in. Mm -hmm. But we would always go see my friend Ashley, who sang in a band, like a cover band. Yeah. And uh, so it was always at this one place called Hennessy's. And we would get in there when we're like 19 years old or whatever. And, uh, you know, just be like, woo, Ashley, yeah, we. And so the bartender, who was like my deuce, he's like kind of balding, like clearly a lot older than I was. But he would sort of like always be really nice to me and whatever. And so one night he asked me for my phone number. And I was like, yeah, sure, here's my phone number. And then he texted me and was like, let's grab a drink sometime. And I was like, uh, the thing about that is... I'm 19. <laughs> like, I get in this bar with a fake ID. Do you still want to get a drink? He's like, let's grab some dinner. I'm like, all right, that sounds fine. Because I was single at the time, whatever. And then I figured out that he was 29 and I was 19. Yay. And a 10-year age difference at that age was, like, just a little bit too much for me to handle. Because all we could talk about that we had in common was, like, movies. And then... It, like we just like had nothing like totally different pages of life yeah. and also um at one point someone that he knew was in the we went to a fucking chili's by the way like super <laughs> hashtag classy hashtag romance whatever i would have been stoked off like, going to chili's <laughs> i know i was really excited to get a meal honestly um but this person 29 year old right he can buy you meals <laughs> seriously it's nice. Um, but this this like woman and her husband like walked up to the table and was like, hey, so-and-so, like this guy. And uh, I'm like, oh, these are your friends. That's nice. And then I look down and, you know, she's just like super fucking pregnant. And they're like, oh, who's this, you know, clearly like much younger than you, girl. What are you guys doing? I'm like, hey, I'm Jenna. I, don't, I just showed up. I don't know, man. What? Like, you're pregnant. Okay. I came for the meal. Oh, it was just super fucking awkward, man. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you're, you're on a date. You realize that this person's way older than you. Yeah. They thought that you were a different age. And then you, this pregnant woman who's got to come make it real awkward and fucking weird for everybody. Like, yeah. go away. Go have your baby. Thanks. It was fucking weird. That is weird. That was a bad date. Anytime there's like a random pregnant lady, just, it's weird. There's no need for that. Yeah. Like, no need. Well, I, I have nothing against pregnant people, but I felt like she was judging me. <laughs> The pregnant woman was judging you. Her baby was judging me. <laughs> Her baby was looking at me with its little judgmental Ew. eyes. Well, you know how sometimes like people are they look so pregnant like that it looks like it physically hurts. That's what she looked like. They just like. look like they're in pain. It just looks like it hurts. That's what she looked like. Yeah. And then I felt like she was angry at me for existing. So I felt weird. It's not nice though. Why did, why why so hostile? <laughs> why is your baby hostile? Your baby's judging me. Anyways. She's all pregnant and unhappy, and oh. Jenna's young and not pregnant. Exactly. Jenna's and young and hot. Confused yeah. about Take, take the your situation. bitterness elsewhere, lady. Get out of Chili's. Get out of Chili's. Isn't there a sign But not before no you're pregnant? getting your blondie with a la mode vanilla ice yes. cream. Oh. Yes. That's Whatever. exactly right. We didn't even get dessert. What? The, wait, what? I was sad. What the? I wanted some dessert. Buzz, I wanted buzz. the blondie a la mode. Yeah. Ooh, a la mode. Shit's banging. Mm-hmm. That's Aww. the only reason you go to Chili's. <laughs> to get the ice cream? <laughs> Why else would you go to fucking Chili's? <laughs> yeah. And that was in uh, Boston. Romance, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Super romantic. Not bad. But I'd say that's one of the only like actual formal dates I've ever been on, you know? Yeah. I don't bad date. I mean, at least you didn't like show up to a dance in your PE clothes or something like that. That's just a bad date. That's not a real date, though. You're young. Um, yeah. That was just... Poor planning. That was no did you, planning. You told that story on the first podcast, I did. Podcast, I think the first right? one, yeah. 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 About how I showed up. Uh, and my date was dressed like it was her prom night, and I was wearing PE clothes. But you know what? She didn't care. She was so happy that you just went with her. I think she was. <laughs> yeah. And her mom. I think her mom cared the most, because she's like the one with the camera. I'm yeah. Like, how dare you what? not wear a tux, you 12-year-old. <laughs> Are those your PE clothes? <laughs> yes. Do your shorts say your last name on them? What? <laughs> yeah, with Sharpie. Yeah, they're real personalized. So that they don't get stolen. <laughs> they, they've never been washed. They just get sprayed with Axe every single time you're done using them. Yep. Oh, middle school. God, how fucking awkward was that? Yeah, middle school was not fun. 
I would never go back there. No, thank you. Middle school was the worst. It was the worst. Yeah. It's just like you're trapped in your own hell that is like your existence. But you don't realize how miserable it is until you get out of it and you're like, oh my God, life doesn't suck. Oh no. Well, I was fucking, I was all mentally aware of how miserable it was. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I was mean, like, is this what life is like? <laughs> what? God, what the fuck would happen to like being a happy little kid and then all of a sudden you're like, why does everyone suck? <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah. I mean, for me, I was just like, it was whatever. Like I didn't like it. But when I got to high school, I was like. Life can get so much better. Mm. Like, that was bad. I didn't realize how bad it was when I saw the other side. I remember being in middle school and thinking that high school was going to be this, like, like you're so much older. Mm, yeah. Like, even seeing the, the high school campus was this, yeah. like, what is even going right. on over there? You just can't possibly relate. You're like, those kids are, like, adults. Right. And, and then like, you get there and you're like, oh, this is <laughs> I sort of thought it was going to be like a magical movie, too. You know? <laughs> right. Like you just like go around with your friends. It's like the best years of your life. Yeah, you you're hanging out in the quad. Letterman jackets. Yeah. And... It's like all I do is homework and like sports. Yeah. This is nothing. Yeah, there's nothing cool happening here at all. No. I, I feel duped. Super duped. Yeah. <laughs> I, and it's like you, you play a sport. It's a completely different experience when you don't. Yeah, you're right. It is. You know, it's, it's like right. two different schools exactly. almost. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But it's not true. I mean, you can do a lot of other things that would take up just as much time <clears throat> as like a sport would. Yeah, like a club or something. Yeah. I created a club in high school. What was it? The ping pong club. What? Yes. I created the ping pong club in my I high school. I created the dance club. Really? Yeah. Well, fuck oh, you, And we lost the light. Uh, See, I'm telling you, that light is so shifty. Yeah, it just it does decide. its own thing. I created the dance club and it just never took off. Dance club? Yeah, it never Did took you just off. bring your big old boom box and just get crazy yeah, or weird yeah what did you do in ping pong club well we played ping pong <laughs> but most of the time i i spent most of my time designing the ping pong club shirt which was just two little rackets and then a <laughs> words that says samo ping pong club i was so proud of That's that though where the like budget for, went. <laughs> no we like well, we there goes the club. our ten dollars guys oh dude i was so proud Club's over. and then we had like one table shirt you just set it up but yeah and one of these science classes and you just move it to the center and then slowly just people just stop showing up but for like years i put that on my resume because i was like yeah i started a club and we played ping pong and i was the president <laughs> I'm an innovator. My <laughs> innovator. Club. That is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Good work. It was fun. Thank you. Yeah. Speaking of innovation, I ate some scrambled eggs out of a Chinese food container this morning because I did. had nothing to eat it on. Yeah. You unfolded it? Uh, you apparently unfolded that's a thing. The, and that is a thing. You can unfold it into a plate? Yes. Okay. Did you know that? I did know that. Okay. So but I feel, like it, that. I feel like that's one of those things on the internet that like explodes like every few months like yeah. people re-realize yeah, that yeah, yeah. And it's like <laughs> trending realize. again yeah no that that that's a thing i heard about that yeah what okay so did you do that or did you just eat it out? no 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 i i uh, i ate it out of there i was happy with that but um <laughs> so you didn't make it up late <laughs> no i ate it out of the thing like rice but then someone yeah. tweeted at me and they were like you know that you can unfold it and i was like i guess the point is why bother unfolding it when you can just it's like a bowl shovel it yeah. out of I mean, unless yeah. it's like I mean, unless you need more space right like if you have too much food to fit in the <laughs> container i mean wh which wasn't the case because it was only like a couple scrambled eggs i could fit it but you never know like if i'm trying to eat a meal and all i have is this little container because i feel like that's a possibility in, in my future that could happen again i did see your tweet about this by the way and i loved the hashtag clean up on aisle mind <laughs> that's what i wrote <laughs> which was I amazing see it. Wait, what did it say? well I, I, I wrote the, I, the picture of me eating the eggs oh. and someone was like you know that you can unfold it into a plate and i was like clean up, clean on, up aisle on aisle mind, mind. hashtag hashtag <laughs> it's a funny hashtag thank you that's, i'm glad you noticed it. that's good hashtagging right there that is a really good hashtag yeah I needed to clean up on aisle mind. <laughs> Anyone clean up on aisle mind? I mean, I liked it anyway. Um, Brett, uh, you should follow Brett on Twitter. He tweets some really yeah, funny Brett's stuff. Yeah, Brett's had some really good tweets. Yeah, he's got good tweets. They're, sometimes they're a little angry. I'm trying to not be so cynical <laughs> it about well, everything. But here's the thing, mine like, were angry today. Ain't no shame in my game. They're they all were. fucking angry. Yeah, I didn't Just see go the tweets there. today. What were they about? Um... I don't know. I can read that All right, you in know a what? second. Um, no, but here's the thing. I feel like there's a lot of people who get on Twitter and just complain. And then you're like, okay, all you do is complain. I think Brett knows who I have in mind right here. But um, 
Brett doesn't do that. He he may sound like yeah, cynical sometimes or negative, but it's funny because I it's try like to his make outlook it f- funny at yeah, least. No, that's no, why they like are. It. They are. They the are. The one about when you go grocery shopping. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The gum. That was a good one. His. I was it, proud of that one. What was it? Yeah, tell us. Uh, I don't remember the exact. Yeah, Sad lib. I think it was. Yeah. I just said that the the person the the. The person checking you out at the grocery store who hands you the pack of gum should yeah, be making a yeah, yeah. hundred grand a year. Yeah. And basically, they're just the most awesome human being on the face yeah, of the they planet. Put all your they know what's in going on. <laughs> they fucks. They me. get the way the world turns. Yeah, they they just they get it. Yeah, they, they do. get it. And a hundred k a year is a very reasonable salary for that person. Starting. They're Starting. thoughtful. I mean, it's just customer service. You know at, its I mean? at its finest. It, it is the epitome. They, they could serve the president, in my opinion, with that kind of attitude and work ethic. I mean, who's going to want who's gonna want to get home or get to their car and fish their fucking arm through wet, like, bags of f- fruit and... You, no, you need your gum right here. I'm not going to eat it later. I, got, I saw it right That's now. I'm going to eat it right now. That's why you bought it in the aisle where you're checking out your groceries and you didn't buy it in the gum aisle with, like, packs and packs and yeah, packs. Yeah, motherfucker. I want it now. You're lucky I didn't steal that pe- pack of gum. I could have just right. grabbed it and fucking, like, put it right in my pocket. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't steal gum. Don't steal gum. <laughs> my, aside from my tweets about pee last night. Oh, those were good tweets. Um, I tweeted today, the frequency of hoes changing lanes is an epidemic. <laughs> How many times does the hip hop community need to tell you to stay in your lane, ho? <laughs> <laughs> And then I also tweeted, these hoes are neither loyal, nor do they know how to stay in their lane. I'm getting tired of telling them to say my fucking name also. And uh, one more. Like, I see how you can go through days where everything seems kind of negative. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you're not. It's, no, you no. just you need to get it out there. It's in your um, mind. I tweeted, things I just saw. Girl eating corn on the cob while driving. Would you mind kindly getting the fuck out of my face with that shit? <laughs> <laughs> I was like baffled. I was driving to Tyler's house and she's just over there like oh, with a full, not a half one, not like a like full, a cor- full <laughs> corn on the cob going, nar, 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 nar. I'm like, what are you doing? Which by the way, corn on the cob is one of the messiest it's things that you can eat. not a portable food. <laughs> like you don't do that when you're driving. No. no you're spilling butter everywhere. Yeah. Like you're, it's like corn, it's in your teeth. Right. Yeah. You can't drive like that why don't you you're probably a horrible driver to start yeah with. eat some oysters next time while you're driving <laughs> oysters <laughs> i don't oh even eat fish and that looks complicated to eat oysters yeah i don't crab I, yeah no that's, that's get a giant king crab no, 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 with no, your no. little yeah. nutcracker lobster. Do just it eat lobster driving. behind the wheel like crack the lobster <laughs> dip it in the butter put your little bib on have the bib you gotta have the bib gotta have the bib and then you gotta tweet about it hashtag bib on the 405 get at me <laughs> i got that lobster in the carpool lane but you know what i was also thinking i was writing a check the other day while i was driving and like you can't i don't even fucking i don't know <laughs> sorry wait just repeat that sentence I was writing a check the but other day. But I wasn't driving. Yeah. I was stopped. And so it was just on my center console. I just needed to like sign it. You know what I mean? So I was like, how is it that I can sit here and have a fucking pen in my hand and a check, <laughs> but I can't text on my phone or like do anything on my phone? That's illegal. But like, I get texting and driving is incredibly dangerous. Right. Like, Doing many things in driving is incredibly yes. dangerous. Yes. Like eating corn on the cob. Like, why, <laughs> why draw the line at texting? Right? Yeah. Oh, just put it back in. No, you're good. No, other that side. Yeah. Oh, Jen is having her own little issues. Anyway, <laughs> the way I feel about texting and driving is it should just become part of the DMV test, and you should take a test <laughs> while you text. And if you can pass the texting and driving test, you're allowed to do it. That's yeah, good. Or maybe, you get a sticker for your car. Yeah, maybe after like that's amazing. But after like <laughs> look, I'm, a, bump, listen, a bumper sticker. I know my limits. I know that I can text. When I'm at a stoplight, mm-hmm. right? I know that I can send a text when I'm driving. Right. I won't if it's already, if it's already yeah. in. I won't type a text when yeah. I'm driving. Right. But I feel like it should be like up to a certain speed limit. Like you can text and drive, or like within Under. your own yes. judgment, which I think a lot of people have good judgment about it. A lot of people Ugh. have terrible judgment. But if yes. you pass the DMV test, you're like not an idiot. You have good judgment, <laughs> you can and you're it. driving, you know, below 20 miles an hour. Yeah. Then maybe that would be like you're not going to get 
a big giant fucking fine because yep. right. you were just texting someone at a stop sign where there's no one else at. You're at an intersection with no one. You're technically not even driving, really. Yeah. You're stopped. Yeah. No, I feel really frustrated when... Uh, like maps. I'm like, even just a map. Yeah. Like, I want to look at a fucking map. I'm no, lost. Like it, yeah, and you pull up at like a light and you're like, okay, I know this light. It's not a short light and it just turned red. I want to look at my phone because I got to check my text. I got to see the, if I'm going the right way or whatever. And you, that feeling of like, oh, I really hope a cop doesn't see me. It's just so dumb. Like, I'm not doing anything you in danger anymore. Look at it. Yeah. Like, you can't even do this or you're like in fear of a cop giving you a fucking $300 mm-hmm. ticket in traffic school. Like, screw that. Yep. It doesn't make sense. It's just not logical. No, it's, it's not. It's like they threw this blanket over this texting problem by saying, no texting and driving. What, like, don't look at your phone. fucking eating? Like, think about Or putting on your eating. makeup. Putting on makeup, reading a newspaper. Have you ever seen someone driving and reading a newspaper? I'm sorry. Or a map. Like an 80-year-old <laughs> guy with a map like open. Like my mom. Yeah. Which, by the way, I think in LA, like, with the traffic, yeah. we see a lot of crazy people doing insane, insane things, things behind plus, the wheel. Plus, we've noticed that if you're in a really, really, really high-volume traffic area, like, you're bumper to bumper, you're not going anywhere. You can't get on the internet because everyone around you <laughs> is, is on the internet. It. Dude, we, we used to, Jenna and I used to carpool to you the gym no and back, service. and we would hit Olympic, like, right there, and we couldn't get on the on the, on the the internet at all. Amazing. Like, it was, like, yeah. stopped or blocked. Like, whoever, like, one of us would be driving, and the other one would be like, all right, I'll look up some jokes or something on yeah. the internet. You just can't get can't any get on. service. Everyone's on their phone. It's like you're being at, it's like you're at a fucking concert. No yeah. one can get on the internet. Or Ugh. a baseball game or a basketball yeah. game. Yeah. Like, that, it feels just like that, and you're like... Oh, everyone is breaking the law everyone. right now. <laughs> it's so Literally ridiculous everyone thing. around me. It's so ridiculous. And then you are the person who gets pulled over and given the ticket. God, I really hope I've that never, never happens to me. I have never gotten pulled over for that. I really like, you never don't pulled do over? it enough. I've gotten pulled over. Ooh, but I've gotten pulled over. I've never gotten pulled over for this for, for particular. That. Because I, I'm really good at it. Yeah. I passed the fucking test. And you drive like a normal person <laughs> while you do it, which is yes. should mean you're allowed to do it. Yes. Yeah, you're not even like, motherfucker, holla at me, ho. <laughs> You're like being fucking, I don't know, you're using your brain. I can just understand. I feel like there's gray area. You know what I mean? Brett got Jesus corn legs. (laughs) We're just reading things from the Ustream. (laughs) Oh, that's good. That's a good one. Brett, tell us about an experience when you got pulled over. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I will admittedly say that there was a point in my life where I thought about being a police officer. (laughs) I thought that that was a good idea. And then I moved to Southern California, and I was driving to, I don't even know where I was going, but I was in Riverside County, which is, in, it's, it's just, it's far. Yeah. And I didn't really know where I was. I didn't know what I was doing. I was new to Southern California. And I got pulled over, and I'm like, what's going on? Because I genuinely didn't know what I had done. And the cop walks up to my car and asks me to step out of the vehicle, and I'm like <gasps> freaking out. And no. He won't, <laughs> won't tell me what happened, won't tell me anything. I'm like panicking because I'm literally on the side of the 10 freeway. Like cars are whizzing by. I don't know That's why so I'm dangerous. pulled over. It's very dangerous. So then he starts saying all this crazy stuff. He's asking me if I have any drugs on me. What? Which I'm like, no. <laughs> I don't have any, no. Yeah, dude, I got like seven yeah. pounds of meth. Just look in the center right. console. Which, spray it, it's all in there. You want to hit? That basically was what it came down to. Like, I think this guy thought that I was like trafficking drugs or Jeez, something. what the fuck? But um, long story short, he was like threatening me the whole time and like yeah. touching his gun and like ask, he asked me if I had a dead body in my trunk. No, he did not. He just straight up asked you? Like, he straight up asked me. He's trunk? like, he's like, do you have a dead body in your trunk? Okay, I would burst out laughing if that happened. I'm sorry. I was so, like, mind blown. I was like, what is even number? going on right now? No, I was just trying to figure out how to get out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. at this point, we had been there for, like, 20 minutes, and he was asking to search my car, and I was like, no, I, at that point, I was, like, pissed. So I was like, no, you can't search my car. I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. You didn't... Right, he has no, like, reasonable... Yeah, he told me that... He, I finally got him to tell me why he pulled me over, which was because... He said because I was driving slower than the flow of traffic. <gasps> Go away right So now. anyway. I would be furious. I'm resisting him from searching my car. And then finally he's like, well, I have a drug dog in my car. So I'll if he gets a hit on anything, we'll be out here for the next two hours tearing your whole car apart. So I'm like, okay, you can search my car. I have nothing in my car. Yeah. Like, go ahead. So he looks in my trunk and he's like, all right, have a great day. What a fucking creep. That well, was it. And, but, but I will say ever since bullshit. then, I'm like... Cause they just they 
Dude, that's unacceptable. That's like no way to. I mean, even if you're in the wrong, you right. don't treat well, someone like that. I know that that's how they catch a lot of idiots. You right. know what I mean? But like them. to treat citizens like normal law-abiding yeah. citizens I'm like just they're, driving like down they're criminals right because you're driving slower than the speed of traffic or the flow of traffic like fucking blow me are you kidding right. me yeah that's you have joke. nothing else better to do like bro i'm in a 96 honda civic that's it just fast doesn't go it that goes. fast <laughs> sorry my, my brother, my max i know it looks really beat up and shitty and, and like there's probably drugs in the trunk no me and my brother used to share a car in high school and it was the same way if there was you know a lot of things was like 55 miles an hour speed limit yeah but like there was one area of town where it was like 65 and the it was a big gray azuzu rodeo and once you hit like 60 it was like <laughs> like the whole car is like yeah. shaking everywhere and you're like just go around all i got is 60 i'm flooring it like just go this is as good as it gets. all i got is 60 it's like the older cars like if yeah. somebody pulled me over for that i'd be like sir my foot was like on the ground all the okay? way down it's as fast as it goes that's bullshit. This is bullshit. But I haven't been pulled over since then. That was like two years ago. Knock on wood. Because yeah. I'm, I'm very paranoid now. Oh, you're a good driver. No, that's that's fucked. That's like 100% fucked. Yeah. It's fucked. It's fucked. And speaking of cars that max out like that, my Jeep, uh, the Jeep I drove in high school. I had if a Jeep you, in high school. Yeah? Yes. Grand Cherokee? Yes, I did. Oh, that yeah. was my very first car. Oh, yeah. Grand <laughs> Cherokee. Still. Jeep Grand Cherokee. Just the mics. Um, <laughs> Every time you pull up to a light or a stop sign, if you didn't um, keep gas going into it, it would turn off. So that was my car. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, the one that my brother and I shared, it finally died because uh, the whole axle fell apart. Oh, yeah. When my brother was driving it. Nice. It was just split in half. Nice. Just super good time. Do you have any Ooh, good, good cop stories? Who needs yeah, an axle? Julian me? has one. I have one. It makes me sound like a real deviant, though, but, but I'm not. not, and I wasn't. Can you put... Is he... Kermit, oh, you, you can get in your own bed, dude. Okay. Uh, all right. So I was. It How was are we in doing the, on ciders? We need some. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get yeah, dude. Get in there. Crap. All right. Um, are we allowed to get leave? The yeah, dude. Do whatever the fuck you want. No fucking rules. No rules. Um. So I was, I think a junior in high school, maybe a sophomore, but I was driving this Jeep on a weekend night. Uh, I was driving it with um, my friend Andrew, my friend Brandon, my friend Logan. And someone named Wiley, who, you know, he was cool. He was like my friend sort of, but I was closer to the other three. And um, somehow Wiley ends up in the front seat. I just said all their names, whatever. Um, He ends up in the front seat and he had eggs. So he had uh, a couple of eggs in his backpack and I don't know what he was planning on doing with them, but we weren't going for like a ride. We were going somewhere. We were, I think we were going to a friend's house from my house. Uh, So we're uh, north of Montana, which is like a nice area. They have ADT patrol cars at night just for that area because it's, uh, you know, all those houses are, I think, just by default protected by those AD, ADT guys at night. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Um, yes. dude, you're the man. Uh, anyway, so I am, uh, I'm driving and we see an ADT car, but he's up ahead and he's pulled over. Yeah, they're not cops, by They're the not way. cops, but they are armed. And they're they're ADT patrol. They're yeah. secure. They're hide security, but they have arms so wait can i interject really quickly about yeah. add patrol have you heard about our like creepy add dude at work is he the guy they put pictures up of or no. is that a different guy so supposedly we have this we have add patrol at work that drives through the parking lot like at every Amp couple Radio. hours venice or, or whatever was, yeah oh okay just to like make sure everything's cool the, the neighborhood that the station's in is kind of like mm-hmm. kind of sketchy anyway it's so supposedly this guy rolls through every couple hours but he started like appearing inside the building and like asking people weird things about people that worked there. I saw an email like, about this. What? Yeah. yeah. And it's like, what the fuck? The, the ADT dude is like <laughs> creeping people so, out. So not only are they not cops, they're but also they're creepy. not professional. <laughs> they're very creepy. <laughs> well, that little story makes me feel a little less bad about my story. Um, <laughs> Anyways, you're driving and you saw, driving. One, you saw one of these fine people. <laughs> saw one of these fine gentlemen uh, and a kid in my car. Had eggs, as I had mentioned before, and um, who knows what he was going to do with them, throw them at a car or whatever, but we see an ADT car, um, and the, his light's on, like his little you know, console light is on, he's pulled over, doing whatever the fuck he's doing, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to turn down the street, I don't know, I just want to turn down the street, and I'm pulling up 
to make this left turn, I, may, I make the left turn, and as I'm turning left, I approach this car. I'm going to go past him, but I'm driving next to him because he's parked, you know, he's parallel parked. There's a car in front of him and a car behind him. And I'm just like, I don't want to look. I just kind of want to go down the street. And then I hear, and I look to my right, and there's Yoke running down his window. And I'm like, Wiley, <laughs> you just fucking threw an egg at this guy? Like, I didn't even say that because there was no time. Right. Like, I saw that happen, and I hit the gas. Like, I didn't even think. Um, I couldn't believe he fucking did that because yeah. any of my friends in the backseat would never have done that. Right. But Wiley did. So well, it's fucking. Cause th- it's because he's Wiley, I'm Wiley. assuming. Wileying out. Doo doo. Good joke, Jen. Well done. I'm out. That's my time. Um, <laughs> so I floor it down this street. And this is residential, cool. probably like 11 or 12 at night, which is, like, oh, let there be light. Welcome back. Um, residential, 11 or 12 at night, like way past my curfew. I'm yeah. just in high school. Um, but I fly down this street in my Jeep, like I floor it. And I think I hit like probably 50 or pretty fast for a residential street. And in my rearview mirror, like this, I'm in full like flight mode right now. I see my rearview mirror. He pulled out of that spot like so fast and he's like gaining on me. So I blow through a stop sign and make a right turn. Like I don't even stop. I just whip it to the right. And then there wasn't any cars around. So it wasn't that dangerous, but it was still dangerous. And as soon as I turn right, I'm like, okay, I, I estimate probably like 25, maybe 30 yards he has behind me to gain. So I whip through the, the stop sign, and as soon as I turn right, I see an alley, and I hit the left. So I go right and then left. I pull into this alley. It's like really bumpy. Turn off my car without even thinking. Turn off, pull out the key, lights are off, and I look in my rear view mirror, and he flies by, and he didn't even know what we did. Some super fast, some furious shit. Yeah, I was going to say. like I was like, I told that story. I was so proud of it. But I was like, I can't even believe that happened. Just being a shitbag kid. Such a shitbag kid. So then I like get back in the car. I like drive slowly in my mom's house. I'm like, guys, get inside. And my sister's like, can I take the car? And I was like, yeah, take it. I don't want it's to be in that you. car. Yeah, they're not looking for it or anything. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was, and I've been pulled over a couple times. But um, yeah, no, that's definitely uh, one of the craziest interactions I've had with police. My sister once got a ticket for sitting down. What? Sitting down. Sitting down. What yeah. does that mean? Well, there's a sitting on, on the ground. There's a the third street promenade in Santa Monica. And when you're in high school, actually, sorry, middle school, it's the place to be on like a Friday night. Oh, yeah. So she was there with her really? friends. Everyone's at the promenade. Oh, yeah. When really? you're in middle school, like Friday nights, you just hang out by the theater. You're Define just there. Define night. Friday, nine. like 7 p.m., like 7 to I've 9. Been, it's like, oh, okay, 7 to 9. Yeah. So I'm like, I've been to the promenade at night, and it is a ghost town. No, it's always, always like packed with kids at that hour on Friday and Saturday. Okay, I've never been there um, seven to nine. I've been there like, oh, there's a bar down there, and then I'm yeah. like, there's no one fucking here. Well, it's yeah, at bar at bar hours, yeah, everything's <laughs> yeah, closed. Absolutely. Why would anyone be there? But um, I no, don't know because it's fucking where I live. You'd hang out by the movie drink. theater. You'd hang out by the movie theater. You wouldn't really see movies. You just kind of hang out. Mm-hmm. And she was just there with her friends, and um, apparently it's illegal to sit down on the promenade. So she sat down, and a cop came over what? and wrote her a ticket. There's people sitting down there all the time. It's not legal. What? Yeah. Everybody, just calm down. What's who's crying? Why? Why Permit. he keeps getting out and then crying? He, he just wa- needs to sit in his bed. Yeah, he wants his bed. Hold on. Very water, needy. Water. Come here, hey, little boy. Very, very needy. We got a needy and we got curious. Good boys. Buzz is curious. He's curious, George. That's insane. Yeah. It is weird. Um, I, I told this story on whatever questions video. I've been arrested before, but for bullshit. Like, I wasn't doing anything wrong. It was, like, because I owed money for it's a good ticket. good story, though. You know, I'm not going to tell that story. I'm going to tell the story of how I got the ticket in the first place. I was, like, 16 or 17, I think. And uh, um, I used to take the car and just go for, like, big, long rides because that's, like, what you do for fun when you live in the middle of nowhere. Especially when you're 16 or 17. You just got your license. It's like, <laughs> Fuck, oh, yeah. I can power anything. Yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. But um, in upstate New York, there's like a lot of rural roads and rural towns, and the speed limit will go, you know, it's just like a two lane road. There's just one going that way and one coming that way. And um, the speed limit would change from like 50 to like 20 in like a sign. And then anytime after that sign, if you're going over 20, like you're supposed to know where you are and to slow down before the sign right. happens because there's only one fucking sign. And then once it's there, then you're like fair game. So these cops sort of like sit in these speed traps in rural parts of upstate New York because they're just waiting for people to get fucked. So I was in my Zuzu rodeo listening to R. Kelly's The World's Greatest. <laughs> 
it was summertime. It was just, I don't even know where I was, but it was, you know, maybe an hour and a half away from my house because yeah. I was like cruising, no friends, just me. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm going to start up in the sky. I'm in my pickup high. I'm like, just fucking, yeah, fuck yeah. All of a sudden, it's like, whoop, whoop. I'm like, fuck, man. Like, what am I getting pulled over for? I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere. And he's like, oh, you know, that sign was like the speed limit. You're in now entering, you know, Palmyra County, some bullshit. Speed trap. And I'm like, oh, dude, like, fuck. I haven't even hit, like, the little, little little ass town yet. Like, I'm still outside the fucking town. I'm in just cornfields. And I'm like, fuck, man. So he gave me a ticket. It was 300 motherfucking dollars. So the moral of the story is I learned about myself after that day. I have songs that are on the do not playlist in my car. I have one on you, you know, about mine. You just like, you hear it and you just get so out of control that mm-hmm. you don't know what you're going to do when you're driving because you're just so fucking into it. Yeah. On my driving do not playlist is R. Kelly's World Greatest. <laughs> Can't, yep. can't listen to it in you the Yeah, It's not safe. It's not safe. I almost crashed um, when we were listening to Treasure. <laughs> by Bruno yeah. Mars. I almost hit the car in front of me because I, I know was, you almost rear ended no, someone. That is on the Do Not Playlist. I didn't rear end them. No. For the record. Because I was but, like, Julia! Yeah. <laughs> that was a close call, but it was all Bruno Mars' fault. Because like, you, you, got... you were jamming out to Bruno yeah. Mars. Yes. Because we're in there with like, Give me all, give me all, give me all, treasure, bam. Julian! Julian! Stop! Yeah, and that's why I got so close because we were both jamming out. Oh, and then you man. just stopped jamming out and realized. Oh, man. Just yeah. imagine if we were all teenage girls. Uh, Daddy's Tahoe. Life is so distracting. <laughs> Treasure among many songs is so uh, distracting. So distracting. What's your song? I was thinking about that. I I feel like my song changes. Um, yeah. Rather be right now. Oh, that's that's pretty. That's pretty, pretty it's pretty Ra- dangerous. That's pretty dangerous. <laughs> Rather be is pretty dangerous yeah. right and, now. And Fireball by Pitbull. It makes me want to drink Fireball. It makes me hyped up. It really <laughs> makes me want to drink Fireball. <laughs> right? Like, have you I heard that just, song? No, I haven't. We not. should play it. No. Okay, we'll play it later. Not right now. Yeah. Okay. Um, but all the it, it's like Pitbull doing his thing, and then it's, it's Pitbull like, doing his Pitbull thing. Fireball. Kudo. Kudo. My <laughs> he's, he's mother, by the way, referred to Bruno Mars as the ultimate showman. Yeah. That's that is a direct quote <laughs> yeah. from not, my mother. Not like Michael Jackson. No, no. Or like Bruno Mars. Bruno Elvis. Mars. This was pre Super Bowl. Okay. Which we watched here. Yeah. Oh, we and did she, watch that here. She oh, yeah. was intently DVRing it at home and has probably watched it multiple times since then. Yeah, the Bruno Mars concert with the football game. Yeah, that one. <laughs> that one. That one. Yeah, the one that had. We a ordered a hundred, a hundred, hundred wings, wings that day. Hundred, and then what did we do after? We ate wings. No, yeah. and then we went to Scr- Sprinkles. That's right. We, we went to Sprinkles. We, we went to Sprinkles. We got cupcakes at the Sprinkles ATM. Sprinkles ATM. Because we put in our card and then they got out a cupcake. That's the ATM. Marvel. I cannot believe rest. that your mom called him the ultimate showman. The ultimate showman. The ultimate. And it was like this I mean, really. I he's good, but really? I know. The ultimate? And so we're, my, my mom lives in Northern California, so we chat on the phone when we can. I got to meet your mom. She's she's a lot like your mom. Yeah. So no, that's really, right. Yeah. Uh, well, like my mom, then. yeah, yes. all three of them. They're moms. gonna, re- they're three gonna... moms in a pod. My mom, I'm pretty sure, is still on here right now. Hey, yo, ma. Hey, yo, ma. How we'll let, let them get into a bottle of rose. Yeah. Uh, oh no, just then we just leave. Mimosas, Clear out. Just mimosas leave. and bacon. Oh, that's... But no, we. So we were talking, and she's like, "Oh, you're gonna watch the Super Bowl?" And I'm like, "Probably. I, I think I'm gonna go to Jen and Julian's. Yes. We're gonna watch the Super Bowl." Oh, Bruno Mars. <laughs> <laughs> He's just the ultimate showman. I'm so excited. <laughs> And I'm like, she, she said it just and like I, that. I <laughs> admittedly am not the biggest Bruno Mars fan, so, yeah. but I don't want to like rain on my mom's parade. Right. So I'm like, on Super Bowl Sunday. Oh, that's really yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's great, mom. It's gonna be. It's amazing. gonna be such a good show. It's gonna be. He can, once he, in a he's life. the Dance ultimate showman. Stuff. Yeah, he yeah. really is. <laughs> that's really funny. That is so funny. The ultimate showman. I mean, Bruno Mars. It's just a funny thing to call. I don't. I just don't think that he's been around long enough to, to be, see, be the ultimate anything. The ultimate no. showman. Ultimate anything. He's just. I mean, he's just not <laughs> at that level. No. No. Maybe someday though. Mm, no, no, not someday. No. We can just let your mom have that ultimate though. Ultimate in yeah. the last five years. Well, okay. So sure. here's another like m- minor detail detail about my mom. She has a framed signed poster of Sting <laughs> hanging in our house. <laughs> Get so, 
It's <laughs> it makes sense. It, may, it adds up. Yeah, it, it, it does make sense. It adds up. Nice. Yes, that's good. Oh, I used to love Sting. <laughs> <laughs> love Sting. It was you so like fun. Sting? She's she's like always had it too. So like growing up, it was always fun to have people over and have them be like, "What the fuck is that?" poster of sting doing hanging like prominently in your house uh, mom's a i fan. can't even hate because my aunt got me a framed signed picture of bob barker which i love very much that's mm-hmm. pretty good do you still have it yeah it's i don't think it's in the house or if it is it's in the guest closet i don't oh my god i don't quite have the chutzpah to just have it in the center of oh. the wall <laughs> the chutzpah. um but yeah i i it, like I, I think i like almost teared up when she gave it to me i was like so excited because my like dream in life was just to be on the price is right and uh it never happened Never happened. Never happened. My mom recently was go. like, I want to get us tickets to go. Yeah. I'm like, Mom, it's not really the same anymore. It's not. <laughs> I it's was a like a child. Thing, yeah. it's, it, you can't, I mean, Drew Carey. He's not, He's he does a great job, but he's yeah. not Bob Barker. He's no Bob. He's no Bob. Some big he's shoes no to fill. No one will be Bob. Bob. Make sure you neuter and spay your pets. <laughs> or else. <laughs> or else that's really funny though a signed picture of sting signed picture i like of that sting. it's signed i mean framed is good but signed it's like the full package yeah no, that's good desert rose <laughs> even more reason that we need to have our moms together when when it was mother's day uh this year we brought our moms over here because mm-hmm. her mom was in town Fed them mimosas and bacon, and bacon, and then just let them just fucking dance around in the pool together. Like they yeah. were having the best time of their lives. I know. The, no, the best part to me was my mom. I was like, "Mom, what uh, what Pandora do you want to listen to?" She's like, <laughs> "I don't know anything." And I'm like, "Okay, how about Hall and Oates Radio?" And she goes, <laughs> she's like, "Ew, Hall and Oates." She's like, like, "I don't right. like them." I don't like Hall and Oates. What? Like, mom, guess who do? Everyone likes Hall and Oates. Every no, mom. But she, that's especially. the thing. Like she likes them. I don't know why she said that. Yeah, no. So I turned on Hall and Oates Pandora, it starts playing a Hall and Oates song. She said, I love this song. <laughs> this is Hall and Oates. If you want like one story to sum up like how your mom is, that's a perfect story. Ew, Hall and Oates. I love Hall and like, Oates. And then she started jamming out. And then we have video proof of this. You, uh, Debbie and my mom started yeah. singing Hall and Oates together in yeah. the pool with their mimosas. I forgot they sang this song. <laughs> Like, yeah, well, maybe you should like not forget things before you just blatantly say that you hate people. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hate them, oh, except man. for this one and this one and this one and this one and this one. I guess they have some good songs. So ridiculous. Get it together. Get it together. Like I was a child when they came out, and I still know good music when I hear it. Yeah. She was an adult. <laughs> she was a full-grown adult. No excuse. No excuse. None. We had fed them. Like I like how we said fed them mimosas. We like <laughs> fed them mimosas. Like they were little pets. When you we said like, that here, too, yeah. that's what I I thought. Like walking up and like <laughs> just, just like little, open up. In. Yeah, the yeah. little baby birds. Yeah. Oh we just my fed god. Them exactly. We Some crushed Mother's sustenance. Day, dude. We crushed and we, we uh and we like Mother's made did. a whole fruit salad. Like bacon. listen, I'll tell you how much they crushed Mother's Day because we had this event at work with Iggy Azalea herself. Oh. That they were going to come to, and they didn't come to. I couldn't. I feel bad. But for Mother's Day, like, that's the ultimate sacrifice. We, passing on dad ass. We, we passed on Iggy and Iggy's butt <laughs> just to have a Mother's Day. You know how much I love Iggy. I yeah, love now Iggy. Jenna wanted to. I, like, we have these things at work, and I've never asked to go to any of them except for Iggy. Because I was like, Jenna, we got to go to Iggy. Yeah. And uh, we didn't. Um Gosh. Maybe someday Maybe in someday. the future I'll have another chance. But yes. I'm sure she had fun at AMP. She'll be back. <laughs> She'll be back for sure. Every, everyone, love <laughs> everyone loved her. Yeah. Dat ass dope. Dat I'm sure ass. she's seen your video, by the way. She has to have seen it. She follows me on Twitter. Yeah, she's seen it. I love, I love her. I love her puppy. I love her. I love her puppy. Jenna is Iggy Azalea. <laughs> I wish. I am Iggy Azalea. <laughs> I am a god, Kanye. <laughs> Kanye. You know what I want to fucking oh talk god. about right now? Ah. I just talked about it for like three seconds in the serious show. Fucking, have you paid any attention to Miley Cyrus's Instagram recently? No. Only because you've showed me. It's fucking out of control. Like, I think the girl needs like an intervention. In terms uh, it's of- a little bit past that. Like she's out of her fucking mind. Well, I really like right, Miley. So I'm, I'm gonna pull yeah, it up. Right gonna pull it Brett's up. gonna pull it up. I really like Miley. I think that she's entertaining and she's doing her thing. But like the Instagram game is like getting out of control because she she was on a break from her bangers tour. 
for a couple of weeks. And so she was just at her house just making nonstop arts and crafts. Which, Jen- Jenna, explain to people why that's a kidding? telltale sign of... I feel like I've had friends that get into drugs and they... For some reason, depending they on just what, depending make arts, and crafts. <laughs> <laughs> depending on what drug they're into. But for some, all they do is arts and crafts. <laughs> for some of them that get into certain types of psychedelics, yeah. all of a sudden it's just like they make the shittiest fucking arts and crafts you've ever seen. They're like, "Isn't it so fucking cool, man? You want to come yeah. over and just do this for like eight hours?" And yeah. you're like, "No, dude, yeah. I don't. We need because I'm not four. She and a four-year-old can make that better than you can. Yeah. No, that you got to find the arts and crafts. I'm telling you. Yeah. Look um, at the crafts. I mean, in that picture, she just Scroll looks down. like she's dead. Just, I think I should no, note that. No, not that. Scroll down. Miley looks dead. She, yeah, you got to get to the brink. She looks dead. Like, yeah, see all this shit? Dead. No, like she's been making like ponytail. <laughs> well, look at when we uh, when we edit this together, we'll throw stuff. we'll throw look these pictures her. in the podcast so you can see what we're she talking made about. This ponytail what? holder. Like yeah, she yeah. We'll, goes so we'll show you pictures. She of likes this. to loom. She's into the loom. She's into the looming. Listen, Miley didn't have a childhood. <laughs> no, she did not. So she's doing drugs Thanks, and having Stilly a childhood Ray. now. <laughs> she's doing drugs and having a childhood now. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. Oh my it's god! It's all Billy Ray's fault. He just thrust her right into that spotlight <laughs> to chase that dream that he never reached. <laughs> Miley, I want to live through you. We're terrible people for saying all of this. I don't care. Miley, where's the next stop on your bangers tour? Dad. Why don't we just split a bed? It'll be cheaper. Dad, Dad. no. You're Dad. nasty. Knock, knock, Dad. Who's there? You're nasty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dad, man. I'm on a break from the bangers tour, and all I want to do is make ponytail holders with Did my Did you do load. your homework? Dad, I don't I got a call from homework. your teacher. You got to test them all. <laughs> no, the best was when you were like, your manager called again. He said he quit again. <laughs> <laughs> he quit again. <laughs> again. Uh... Your manager called again. He said he quit again. (laughs) (laughs) He just wanted to remind you again. Again, that he quit. That he doesn't work for you. Oh, man. You know what? I think next time, if that ever happens again, Billy Ray, uh, I won't even... Will I need a wig? I probably will need, like, the mullet wig. Even though... Oh, you might need to commit to a real mullet. Oh, just for Billy Ray? Do it. I think it'd be worth it. Hey, you know what? If the right right opportunity presented itself, I could just be Billy Ray. I could just... Help me. How about... Help. Is is there a bottle opener right there? I don't no. Oh wait, no. What am I? Saying? I have one on my little pocket knife. Oh yeah. Help. Miley's Instagram is a mess. How? We're we're checking in with our Ustream here. Oh yeah. Um, who dat? <laughs> who dat? Who dat? This, this comment right here. This return. The return of Billy Ray. Julian Solomita style reminds me of like if you see. I feel like I have endless ideas. If I were to have the means to do them do you know what i mean yeah yeah yeah. if you just take that one sentence you know what that makes me think of what if you shot like a mock star wars just starring billy ray like (laughs) the whole thing is like it's y'all it's billy ray i'm gonna go gonna go fight a galactic war against some people (laughs) and then i'm gonna record a song so you just go to a store and buy it (laughs) in the space yeah that's what i'm saying one song one song and you can buy it in a store <laughs> you're 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 fighting with a lightsaber yeah. and you're in a tie fighter just been, don't break my heart my achy yeah. heart. miley where you at yeah Buzz. that would be an epic no like, that's short video that's yeah. the type of thing if you did have the means to do uh billy would, ray in uh, space hey you know what what well, all we need to do is get a, just a giant green screen paper put it up behind us and then i'm in space and then i'll just do it i don't know how to animate there's no animating. You just you put a green screen on yeah, and you, you can just use one of the photo booth. <laughs> yeah, crowds. you would just be standing in space. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I want it to be like a short a set. video yeah, yeah. where you're doing yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Hey, never say never. Trust me, I know how to make it look like you're just standing there in space. N- never say never. <laughs> Justin Bieber said that, and I'm repeating it. Never say never. <laughs> Justin Bieber has uh, 53 million followers on Twitter, <laughs> which incidentally is more people that are even on Twitter. But somehow that is a thing. Oh Fifty. God. Actually, I think it's. <laughs> Buzz. Did Buzz just knock over the whole light? Knocked over the whole light. All right, hold on. Let me oh fix that. Oh my god. Buzz, you're Jeez. so cute, honey. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh Buzz, Buzz. Buzz, Buzz. At least that one's still on. That light has this legs, this man. This one doesn't break. This one works fine. That light got legs. Oh my god. Brett, you missed it. Oh my God! Yeah, the the Justin Bieber 53 million followers really gets me. It hits me right in the giggles, man. 
You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. No, it's big time polarity. Um, yeah. Brett's teeny little terrier just knocked down that massive light. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's very cute. so funny. He's very cute. No, the whole light fell over, and he just, like, ran over towards the bathroom where you were, and he's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean it. <laughs> I didn't mean it. Sorry. I'm just being Buzz. All I can do is be Buzz. Yeah, no. Uh, buzz being Buzz. Buzz got legs. Buzz got legs. Buzz is on Instagram, everyone, if you want to find him. It's uh, buzz, buzz Loves, loves LA. LA. Uh, he's got quite the library of pictures on there. Yeah. He does. Yes. He's so handsome. Hey, he's active on social. That's how Sasha says it. She's like social. That's the first time I've ever heard anyone Who's abbreviate Sasha? social media. The social media girl at Ambrady who want to meet with me. Oh. She calls it social. I've never heard of that, though. Yeah. Are you really active on social? I thought it was always social media. Never heard social. Yeah, but I don't speaking know of which, says that. that's just Buzz loves LA. Is on social. He's on social. He's pretty he's on, good. He's on the social machine. He's on the, on social. the social machine. He's, he's very like, social. Check him out as social. He's social on the media. He's. I have to help him because he doesn't have thumbs, and you need thumbs to <laughs> use Instagram. Hey, Kermit can do it. Oh wait, Kermit doesn't have an Instagram. Never mind. But um, no, we can't get it. We can't get control. Of yeah, dude. Instagram someone accounts. fucking hijacked that shit. Yeah. Someone has the Kermit and yeah, Marvels. and they upload pictures claiming to be him, and then the consensus is it's him, even though it's not. Mm-hmm. But his Twitter is run by Kermit. I can verify that. Marbles, run by Marbles. Even Peach. Uh, I sent over the uh, login information to Georgia, so she's been tweeting a little bit. I'm done with that. Sorry. To Georgia. Peach. What do you mean you sent over the login information to Georgia? Yeah, what does that mean? Peach is in Georgia, and she has a Twitter, so I sent her the login information so she can tweet. Oh. oh. I still don't get it. What so is she, confusing so the about breed, that? The, the breeder is... Uh, uh, oh, no, I'm I, totally I fucking you. kidding. The dog's we're, not tweeting. We're just being dumb. Oh, I'm, I yeah. thought you were trying to t- t- like say something serious right now. I was trying to figure it out. Yeah. Really. We fell Silly into the Jenna. gullibility Silly hole. Silly Jenna. Serious is for adults. I is not an adult. <laughs> I'll fall for everything, by the way. I'm the most gullible person you've ever met. I'm pretty fucking so. gullible, too. That's because I feel like it comes That's from That's why we're both here, sitting here like, yeah. really? Really? You Wait, sent what? it to George? You sent tweeting? it to the breeder? <gasps> <laughs> no, because I like to think that people are just always telling the truth and like you're just figuring it right. out. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm like, wait, what do you mean you're tricking me? That was mean. I'm sorry. I was being confusing. That was such a cool, people. believable story, though. <laughs> oh, I just peach. snorted. Oh. Good snort. <laughs> oh, I really want peach in my arms. I know. Two weeks, yo. I know. Two weeks. Holy shit. Right? I know. Two weeks. Buzz, are you, or not Buzz, Brett, are you happy that you got a dog? I'm so happy that I got a dog. For anyone that's listening or watching, would you recommend getting a dog? I would. However, I would recommend getting a dog after you're absolutely certain that it's something that you can handle mm. because it is a really big commitment. Absolutely. <clears throat> and um, it's not f- for like six weeks. It's for a long know, time. A, for the life of that dog. Yeah. I know. Yeah. The, I feel like the heaviest part of it is sometimes you like look at them and you're like, I'm responsible for your whole life. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. everything that you do, I, I'm i like helping you do. Do yes. you know what I mean? Like every experience that you go through as a dog in this lifetime. I'll be there for it. Is my responsibility to make sure that you're having a good time and just being a dog. Right, Kermit? Right. He's so He's handsome. so goofy looking. He's ready for his sister. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Kermit's going to have a younger sister. Kermit's going to be the, the older brother. That's crazy. I always just think of Kermit as this young little goofy thing, but now he's going to be the mature old one. No, he's going to be a middle child. Because Marbles is the oldest. <laughs> he's going to be a middle child. He's going to be just, the one that we forget so much about. Sense. <laughs> he, oh, he, he is such a middle child. Acts exactly like, like a middle, middle child. child. Mm-hmm. You're so naughty. Naughty, naughty. And you just need so much. Uh, he needs all the time. Kermit. Aww. He just wants to kiss Brett. He wouldn't kiss Jenna earlier. He would only kiss me. It was really funny. Yeah, that was bullshit. That was funny. Buzz does that too. Such like bullshit. Like he won't kiss me, but then he'll kiss someone else right yeah. in front of me, right like looking me. at me. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, look what I'm doing, Brett. Hey. Oh, it's bullshit. Bet you wish this was you, don't you? Yeah. Good times. Bullshit. Bullshit. We will... Uh, show you Peach 
all over the place once we get her. I'm going to tweet pictures of her and everything. Mm-hmm. I can't wait. So what's the, like, can you talk a little bit about the plan? Like, so you're going to just go, like, she's flying in, you just go to the airport and pick yeah. her up? Yeah, she gets flown in, she's in a crate, um, then I go to the airport, sign some papers, pick her up, and she's mine. And then that's it? And that is it. And then uh, I have a collar for her, uh, I'm going to get some clothes for her, I'm going to get a bed per- for her. Um but yeah, I mean, there's there's already so many dog things here, and it's gonna be it's just gonna be great. Like, she's coming Fit into right an in. environment so where not only yeah. is there already two dogs, but there's already one Italian Greyhound, which it may sound kind of goofy, but uh, you know the things that we have for Kermit and the way we kind of uh, accommodate him is is very specific to an Iggy. So having that set up and the experience already coming in, it's gonna be so great. And Kermit's just gonna love her. They're gonna like they're gonna hit it off. I know it. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, she's gonna be mine in just over two weeks. Jenna's gonna take some video of it so everyone can see. Yeah. She's been in the background on my phone forever. I'm just like, when are you gonna get here, dude? When are you gonna get legs, Peach? Get legs. Hi, she's baby. such a cute little baby. Um, she's gonna be a chubby little teeny puppy. Like a little fat with the big, <laughs> big paws. All right, guys, get over him. Don't mind me, we're just making yeah, out Kermit, over here. Keep it in your pants. Mm. What a good baby. Buzz, buzz. Yeah, Italian greyhounds are especially funny puppies because they look like they can just be any type of dog, like any breed, because they they have these like short little smushed in faces and their legs are short. Like Kermit was the same height as marbles when I got him. (laughs) And then all of a sudden one day they're just like, what did he do? What did he do? (laughs) He got legs. He got legs. Like they, they just like, they grow these little baby giraffe legs and they're wobbly. It's really, really cute. I can't wait to see that happen. Oh my God. Hello, Buzz Buzz. You're a baby. I got Buzz's name um, because I like Toy Story. That was a question on the Ustream. You didn't just randomly give us that fact. Um, when I got him from the shelter, they basically didn't have any information about him. They didn't know how old he was. They didn't re- even really know what breed he was. And they hadn't given him a, na- given him a name because he came in as a stray. Yeah. So I pretty much knew going into it that if I got a boy dog, I wanted to name him Buzz. Just because I like um, names that are kind of uncommon. Mm. And I like that, I don't know, it just oh, sounded but- like a good dog it name. suits him so well yeah it's perfect he's a, for he's him he's definitely a buzz you're an onomatopoeia yes buzz 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 is his name but we call him buzz buzz for short peach is her name and we're gonna call her princess peach for short just to shorten it up and make it easier you don't know what you're gonna call her yet you might meet her and you might be like your name is peachy weechy <laughs> it just like comes out you know what I it mean? does you like meet them and all of a sudden you're just like that's right peachy weechy meachy <laughs> leechy and you're like i don't know what i'm saying but i'll probably call her i'll it. probably call her leechy leechy <laughs> <laughs> i'll probably call her bubble tea but who knows <laughs> i guess we'll find out when i see her and i'm just yeah. like you're not a peach no you never know never know you never know never know you just never know yeah Dogs are like a box of chocolate. Sometimes you get <laughs> and raspberry. We God. said that in the last podcast. So unnecessary. Sometimes raspberry. You get raspberry. Sometimes you get the raspberry covered in the chocolate, and then it's got whipped cream on top of it, and then you go and you eat it in your hotel room all by yourself. <laughs> wow, that was oddly specific. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, won't, I won't dig into that. We'll get to that later, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that on another episode. I feel like you need a lot of time. <laughs> What else do you guys want to talk about? Anything? What we got? I don't know. Um, I don't know. We we hit the police thing. Mm-hmm. We hit the bad dates. And we talked about Ted Duggs. That's right. Ted, and so, now okay, Kermit's crying. Back to bad dates. Because we, we kind of like... None of us really qualified for no. that. No. But no. I'm sure that all of us have had situations where we have been asked out and have oh. had to get... like. You want to decline, and you don't know the best way to go about it. Oh, fucking so weird. You start. Me? Yeah, you start. I don't, I'm having a tough time thinking of a specific time. I just feel like whenever it happens, it's that like sinking, like gross, like throw up y feeling. Yeah. Like, I'm really sorry, um, but no, thank you. Yeah. How about no? Brutal. I don't know, that fucking kid when I was in, like, fourth or fifth grade, I, that that might be throwing it way too far back, but he, like, blew up my school picture and kept it in his locker, and he was, like, in love with me, and I'm just, like, 
can you stop? Creep. <laughs> he was kind of creepy. <laughs> That's a little... It was uh, really creepy. Hey, at least he didn't blow up your school picture and put it in his lock. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? I don't know. Um, I, don't, I feel like... I hit on you pretty shamelessly. Yeah, I liked it. Oh. Um, I took a whole day off of work to just come in and hang out with you. Uh, and do something I wasn't supposed to do is drink at work, which I did. Mm. Got in trouble for it, but it was totally worth it. Mm-hmm. Sorry about that. No. I'm not sorry. Yeah. What about sorry, you? Sorry. Um, I want to know. Spill it, Brett. Spill it. Spill it, Brett. I mean, okay, well, so Spill. I I worked at, like, coffee shops for uh-huh. a really long time when I was younger. And In the so, Bay Area? Yeah. In Bay. In Bay. So that, that's, like, a really great situation as far because usually when you work in a coffee shop you have kind of regular people that come in you get to know them a little bit especially the like friendlier ones the people who care about you and know that they're spending like five grand a year at starbucks or whatever (laughs) coffee yeah so um so yeah there were definitely (laughs) situations working at starbucks or whatever where i would have regular customers coming in and then you would kind of start to like build sort of this relationship with them if it's you will a rapport yeah. it's yeah. a rapport it's yes and then maybe you one day they come in and you're like hey i'm gonna give you your drink for free today right yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and then everything changes because they get the wrong idea or they're confused and right. really you're just like oh well i just wanted to get you out of the line because the line was long and yeah I'm, we talk and you right. you ask me like about my life instead of just being like fucking grande non fat latte yeah, like right. five days a week yeah so that and that so then you know they ask you out or whatever and then you have to figure out how to handle that but so that it's not uncomfortable so they can still come back into starbucks because right. it's their life basically but knowing that you're gonna see them again but knowing you're gonna see them again <laughs> so that's always a very delicate kind oh. of like yeah i would rough. usually honestly i would usually just concoct some really crazy lie really about, like why i'm unavailable i want to know sometimes that's like easier though like, like well, how so, crazy though? well it's like some, well i mean crazy my cat has diarrhea no but <laughs> like at that, at that point you're like this person is just a kind-hearted <laughs> person they got you. the wrong idea the last thing i want to do is just break their heart like right so you and go see, to these so lengths I'm, to, I'm also someone who has a really hard time saying no to people like i want right, yeah. to like even if it's not even if there's no romantic feelings like sure let's hang out i'll be i'll be your buddy whatever we talk every day so it's just it's no bueno i just had to quit working at (laughs) i can't be in the service industry anymore because yeah i just keep getting asked out i can't do this (laughs) i got when i when i think about it in that context I when I was a bartender, I got asked out a bunch of times. Probably, yeah, every single night. Creepy creep every. shows, but that's also why they hire you, you know, because right. you you look like a pretty girl, so we want you to work here because we know that you're going to make more money for the bar, which I'm willing to play. Fine, <laughs> let's do that because when you're very poor, you're like I don't fucking care. But I got asked out by a fucking Bruins hockey player, like in Boston. Whenever there's like a Boston athlete in any bar, everyone's like, oh my god, so and so is here, and I'm like. I don't really watch a fair amount of the Bruins. I like the Bruins, sure. But this dude was fucking, oh my God. I don't want to say what name, but he's just fucking creepy, 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 creeperton. Like the type of stereotypical scumbag athlete that will literally get Go blackout drunk. And then he'll just stand there and ask girl after girl after girl after girl. So I'm pretty sure I was working that night, so I'm fucking sober, not drunk, watching it all go down. And, you know, he had asked another bartender. He had asked another drunk girl. He had asked just, like, everybody, like, hey, man, you want to go to, like, party with me? Like, you're really beautiful. Can I get your phone number? And so I'm, I was, like, maybe seventh on this list of girls that got asked to go hang out with this Bruins hey, hockey top player. top ten, not bad. I know, but it's just, it's, like, so, <laughs> it was so ridiculous. Like, you watch him get, like, rejected, rejected, rejected. But, it, you like, you know, You'd feel like for the amount of girls that like would love to sleep with a professional athlete because there's girls like that everywhere. Like this guy was so drunk and creepy that like he just kept getting rejected and rejected. And he just like as a last ditch effort was like, yo, girl with the pink hair. 
how about you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, like it's like when you're in middle school, <laughs> yeah. the worst time of your life, and you're in PE, and it's fucking dodgeball, and people are picking teams, and you're last, and you're last, and how the about, person's like, fuck. "Yo, girl in the pink hair, yeah, how about hey, you? How about hey, he's got game you? though. How about you? I couldn't think of that. I was that. like. <laughs> Uh, How about you? I'm gonna pass, but he was there. He was there, of course, until close. And he's yeah. like, "How about no? <laughs> like, How about no, you? dude? No, like go home, go away, go, go." That wasn't as bad. He didn't like feel as awkward. Yeah, I could just say no. But there are plenty of times in the bar where you like you have to be nice because you know you're gonna be serving them all night, and they might come in there more than one time in the time that you're working there and you're just like go away please go away all right i have a question please go on the flip side what is the best situation you've ever been in when where someone has asked you out not best as in the way Mm. that you felt but just like either most creative or most outrageous or yeah i was uh i was bartending and um i have a really good one i wasn't working this night i was just hanging out with my mom's dog (laughs) And it, I think it was like a Sunday night, so it was probably quiet at the bar. Um, and then this girl who I'd met at the bar the other, one of the nights before, um, we had become like Twitter followees and followers of each other. So she DM'd me. Are you talking about me? And she said, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Very sneaky, Julian. Sneaky, sneaky story. Sneaky. You were very forward. You said, where the fuck is Puppy? <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. Puppy is his mom's dog. My mom's dog. Uh, so I was like, well, I But guess that's a very important question. It's a good question. Yeah. It's a very good question. And because I said, where well. where the fuck is Puppy? I guess she's walking down to South. So we walked down to South. And uh, she gave me her number. And mm-hmm. I didn't even ask for it. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yep. I shamelessly hit on Julian. Yeah. That's that. I want to know your story. <laughs> okay. I love so... You. When I graduated from high school, I had a group of friends that went together to the Bahamas for our like high school trip or whatever. Ooh. So I'm I'm eighteen I'm eighteen years old. I'm in high school or I'm just graduated from high school. I'm can eighteen you drink years old. In the Bahamas at eighteen. You can yeah. drink. Oh yeah. yeah. And we went to uh, the Atlantis, which is this like really awesome resort. I've been there. It what? was in mm. Nassau, yes. Yes, yeah. it was insane. So when you're when you're like 18 and you can't drink legally, you can't do anything fun like legally, basically mm-hmm. in the states, and then you go to this awesome tropical location and you can do everything. It's like it's amazing. This is awesome. Anyway, so the flight there, like we had to fly to Florida, and I think that's like six hours or whatever, and then you have a layover, and then you fly to the Bahamas, which is another like I don't know two hours or yeah. something. So the flight to Florida, we took a red eye. And I actually received the phone number as an 18-year-old of one of the flight attendants. No, you did not. What? On a barf bag. (gasps) Hey, that's great. I'm 18 years old. Dude, you're on top of the world. You just graduated high school. You're going to the Bahamas, swag. and then that happens. It was swag. 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 Yeah. Swag. 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 I, swag, swag, I did swag, feel swag, kind of swag, amazing. Swag. Dude, yeah, you're a baller. Yeah. That's so sick. On a barf bag. That's super fucking <laughs> like they didn't. Sick. They couldn't even care to be like romantic. They're like, you know what? I'm giving no. you my number. All there was I have no. Is a barf it was bag. no official United Airlines stationery. It yeah. was the <laughs> like even, but like a cocktail napkin. No, no. thank you. No. I want to give you this bag, mo fucker, so you remember. <laughs> Oh. I actually kept it for a long time. I want. I wonder what I ended up doing with it because it's just one of those things that you're like, "This is the phone number that I got." This from, happened. This is yeah. a barf bag, and that's a phone number. This fucking happened. That happened. Hey, that's a story and that's a half. Epic. That's really dope. Yeah. That's really epic. What did you do? Uh, he fucking strutted off that plane like the man he was. <laughs> no, I mean like so. Well, so it obviously the what flight happened? the flight ended yeah. at that point. Mm-hmm. Um, but. There was a later time where we did actually hang out with each other. What? <laughs> oh the God. barf bag. I can't works. believe I'm talking about this. Wait, but well, where did all. you hang out? The barf so bag. I I received word that basically the flight attendant was going to be in San Francisco. Like I was I was living in the Bay Area. Oh, I'm like, yeah, sure, shit. I'll come hang out with you in your hotel. I received word. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Well uh, done. It was 
Yeah. Oh, I've, I have not told yeah. many people this story. And That's now you've epic. told the whole internet. Yeah, I've told the, the whole internet. Epic. Hey, well so. done. Well, hey, you just... I'm pretty sure no one heard that story and was like, man, fuck that dude. No, we're like, you're the man you're the right man, now. Dude. You're <laughs> like the man. 18 years old. Yeah. No, but that's... nothing cool has happened since then. So. <laughs> <laughs> what, to balance it out or that's something? My, that's my one and only. <laughs> oh my god, dude, that's pretty good. That's good. That's good. Like I like how I don't know. You, they're on a. I mean, come on, you're a flight attendant. You have to have some sort of in your mind backup plan to when you see someone you want to hit on, what you're gonna do. Nope, right. they were just like ah, oh, scramble, well, scramble, guess, scramble, barf bag. Here's true, <laughs> you know, and I'm sure you can relate, Jenna. Like when you work in the service in- industry, there are people who come in that you right. do want, yeah, to hit on. Yeah, but you can't be. You you have to handle it delicately. Yes, for sure. Unless yeah. you're just like, I don't give a yeah. fuck, like. I didn't really give a fuck. See, and that that happens too, like where you meet that dude where you're just like, I don't give a fuck. Like either this is going to go well or they're never coming back in here ever again and I can handle that. Mm -hmm. That's what I felt like. Yeah. I'm just going to fucking throw it all the way out there. And if you don't give it back, that's cool. See you later. Bye. You suck. Fuck you. You suck and fuck you. (laughs) (laughs) You suck. Fuck. You suck. Fuck you. Suck. Fuck. Suck. Fuck. Fuck jump. What is <laughs> fuck? What am I? What am I? Fuck jump. What am I? What oh, is jump? Oh, that's the best video ever. That's an OG internet video. Have you ever seen that, Brett? I haven't. Okay. What? What is gonna, jump? No. Or what? What is? It's called what, what am, am I? I? What am I? What am I? <laughs> what am I? <laughs> I well, probably look crazy we'll because you've never seen it. After this, yes, we'll watch it. We can link the video in the description. We'll do that for you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, awesome time hanging out with Brett on the podcast. Yeah, we love you, Brett. Yeah, this was really cool. Love you guys. Thanks for having me. This is not going to be the last time. Yeah. You, no. you will not skip out on us. No. no. I'll you'll, come. I'll you'll be come a every. Week. You'll be a regular. Yeah. yeah this is this is I'll good. Just be here. Better. Yeah. Oh yeah. Or else. Mm-hmm. Fuck you. That's a threat. That's a threat. It's a Fuck threat. you, um, If you want to experience <laughs> Brett's with a P. Uh, tweets firsthand, you can follow him right here on I'll the twi- his- <laughs> on the Twitter yeah. machine. I'll show you guys his Twitter. Um, Just say it, because this will this. No, I'm gonna put a graphic right here. It's gonna it was gonna be won't smooth. Won't show up man. on the pewter. Yeah, it will. I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, you know what? I know follow how to follow him edit. here. Follow no here down here. Oh, sorry. No, up here. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Right. Oh, sorry. It'll be in this vicinity. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um, but thank you guys for watching, and of course, special thanks to Brett and Buzz for showing up and making Yay. this an awesome podcast. Yay. We got legs tonight. We got legs tonight. We got, we got all legs. of the legs. We got all of the legs. We got all the legs. Like marbles is trying to, but he can't. We got all the legs. <laughs> Do you know how many legs I got? Why can't I dance on the bar? Why can't I get legs? Why can't you said that I could have legs. Why'd you take away my legs? You took away my legs. I want my legs, legs back. I would like my legs back. <laughs> you don't even By the way, I, wait, I have a quick... The first time I met Jenna was at a bar. And do, oh, you, rem- yeah. do you remember there was a girl the there garage. trying to climb up on the bar? Oh my God! You tweeted I at us totally about it. I totally fucking forgot about that. The first time I met Jenna, we were at, at some garage, bar. At the garage. There yeah. was nobody there. There was, it no, was it like was five really people quiet. there. It it's was, it was, not in a particular location for that type no, of it's not, it, it was a Friday like or Saturday night. Yeah. LA Hollywood bar right. where there's like tons of people. And it, it's, it's just not like, like that. It was super not, low key. Yeah. We're sitting there drinking cider and beer. It's right. really just chill. They serve food. Right. It's, <laughs> it's like it's, it's like a sport- basically a restaurant. Yeah, it's a sports <laughs> bar. Yeah, no. I mean, ha- there were probably more people eating there at the time than they were drinking. And then out if of nowhere. More, you mean, like there's two people eating and three people drinking. <laughs> Us three. And then there might have been a couple at a table. This girl and fucking this Houdini's herself. <laughs> Like into our conversation. It wasn't even like she appeared next to us. It was like all of a sudden she's like literally standing in the middle of the three of us and she's trying to climb on the bar. On the bar. And there's always got to be a girl who's trying to climb on the bar. Why can't I get on the bar? She didn't even do any of this. No, she, she just, just went for she it. She went for it. She went for it like she was climbing the jungle gym, she man. She up. had no fucking. She went. In, th- this is what happened in my psychic brain. She went to the bathroom with her friend and she said, why do you think I can't dance on the bar this week? Like, I asked them and I they said no. So I think so that I'm just going to go out there and dance on the bar anyways. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> and she just got legs and got up there. Oh, God. 
She got legs. Well, yeah. she half got legs, and then they're like, no, you can't no. do that. Ma'am, no, 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 get off. you see off. that? There's a family over there. <laughs> <laughs> You're stepping on that guy's fries. Get off the bar. Oh, I remember that because, uh, first of all, I remember it because like it a- happened. <laughs> and then I remember you tweeted about it afterwards and fucking phrased it really funny. I just remember looking at her, and she she looked like she was a zombie just, like, crawling up. <laughs> <laughs> Girls climbing on bars when they're drunk is like it's like a zombie. It's it just happens. Yeah. It's like what they're. It's like uh, you know their their mammal instinct. Is I go when, out when I'm in, in, in if, drunk. If, I need to get on top of that bar to survive. <laughs> <laughs> I need to mate, and therefore I must climb onto the bar. I need to spread my pheromones from up higher. <laughs> That's oh, disgusting, God. and I can't believe I just said that. Way to end it! Beautiful ending to this <laughs> lovely podcast that we've had. I'm just I'm gonna th- spread your pheromones from up higher. Spread them. Spread them <laughs> legs. on top of the bar. Get legs and spread them. Then more oh. people can smell them in their drinks and their food. It's all over the place. Pheromones. Excuse me. I need to put my pheromones on the bar. <laughs> Let me get up there. You don't understand. <laughs> my clock is ticking. <laughs> So I'm trying to get up as high as I can. As fast as I can. Increase my chances of getting a baby. Oh gosh. Preferably by an affluent white man. And if you don't have a baby for me, I'll take another vodka. Oh my god. <laughs> make it a double vodka. And make it a double. Just charge me for a single. Just kidding. I actually have a baby in me. <laughs> He's at home without a babysitter. I don't. But if you have champagne. <laughs> no, no. I have a baby in me, but the dad, like, I don't I don't want this one. So if you have a champagne or oh. ten. Oh. Is that oh. is that the line? We crossed yeah. the line. <laughs> we walked right up to the we line walked it and, and it flipped it off. That's I, all the time we have for I today. Don't, <laughs> I don't want this one. Can I have another one? Oh. Can I have yours? What are you doing? Oh. Oh. DJ creepy jaw. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Well, that was a beautiful ending. That was, was great. Someone someone on the Ustream stream said, "Where the heck did this conversation go?" <laughs> That's what I. That's what I hope for all these podcasts to just yeah. get on the weirdest fucking tangent. That's By the way, welcome to our lives. Like this. This is so what we if did. we yeah. weren't podcasting this right now, we would still be talking about. Yeah. All the only difference is you guys are getting a little insight into our crazy weird conversations. That's all You're we getting do. an insight. You're getting an insight. Yeah. Look, it means you look inside. <laughs> you fucking. Oh my god. Like if you if you got. A pair of 3D glasses, and you put them on, and then you looked inside. You'd see this. <laughs> you'd see this podcast. You'd good night. See. Good night. Good night. Good, 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 good night. Oh, good. buzz, buzz. Buzz, say goodbye. Say goodbye, good buzz. We'll see you again soon. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back with another podcast soon, hopefully with another guest, and you will definitely be seeing more of Brett. More Brett and more buzz. And we love you. Love you. Love All you. All right. Get legs. Bye. 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 Get legs.